I tell you, I couldn't be more proud of this team. I think they just did a phenomenal job. We set out to really reinvent this company 18 months ago. We said that we kind of had the heart and the energy of a, of a startup, but the brains and muscle of a Fortune 100. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dion Weisler, President and Chief Executive Officer. Well, thank you and welcome. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Antonio, next year, music louder, a bit more bass. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to our humble home. Actually, this is our humble cafeteria which is why we were serving free lunch to our team, because we kind of took over their lunch space. Um, but it's, it's a special place for us because we actually launched our company here back in uh, November of two years ago. Uh, we invited all our founding partners, uh, those that represent almost 80% of our revenue, uh, were in this room celebrating the opening of this new company. And so for those of you who are on the web, thank you for tuning in wherever you may be. And for those of you here in the room, thank you for joining us at our headquarters in Palo Alto, California. As you saw earlier today, we're literally just steps away from Bill and Dave's offices. Every time I walk in, I'm reminded of the power, pride and responsibility that we have leading one of the largest technology companies in the world. It's Amazing to reflect on all that has come before us, how our company has changed industries, changed communities and lives all around the world. Our aim is to continue to reinvent this iconic company that's been entrusted to us. This has been a tremendous year for HP, and the best part is we're just getting started. Most importantly, we've continued to prove that we can consistently execute and win in the marketplace and deliver returns for our shareholders. We've also proven that we can convert ideas into real businesses as we set ourselves up to accelerate our growth and capture the future. Today, we'll talk about how we're delivering results aligned with our strategy and what you can continue to expect from us into fiscal year 18 and beyond. As part of this, I'll also spend some time discussing the trends that are changing the world around us. Because with change, we create opportunity. Nearly two years ago, we set out to create a company with the heart and the energy of a startup, but the brains and muscle of a Fortune 100 corporation. We set out to reinvent a new kind of technology company with a mission to engineer experiences that amaze for everyone, everywhere. In the past year alone, I met with tens of thousands of employees, partners, customers, and investors. I've experienced the great products and services that we're creating for our diverse customer needs and seen how our reinvention strategy is paying off. And I've got to tell you, I'm humbled by our success and I'm really optimistic about our future. For our shareholders, we are doing what we said we would do. Delivering operational excellence, predictable shareholder returns and building a business for the long term. When we became a standalone company, we had to prove that we could deliver reliable earnings and cash flow take profitable share, drive productivity, stabilise our core businesses, and importantly, establish growth. And we've been doing exactly that. And I'm very proud of what our accomplishments have been since last year's security analyst meeting. We delivered three quarters of non-GAAP earnings EPS within or at the high end of our guidance. We have grown total company revenue for four consecutive quarters with broad-based growth and share gains across all three regions. In the third fiscal quarter alone, we grew revenue 10% year over year. And we stabilised supplies revenue one quarter earlier than expected. 
These results give us the confidence in our business fundamentals, including our ability to generate cash flow. And we remain committed to our return of capital strategy. And we're on track to deliver at the high end of our 50 to 75% return target in FY17. With an emphasis on operational excellence, we remain focused on managing costs and are on track to deliver our productivity initiatives. This gives us the capacity to invest in research and development, in sales and in marketing to fuel our core growth and future opportunities. Our investments in areas like security and design are translating into growth across both personal systems and print. Additionally, earlier this year, we began shipping our first 3D printers, as well as our new A3 product lineup. In each, the operating principle is exactly the same. Segment the opportunities, create efficiencies to invest in differentiated technologies, and bring unique and compelling value propositions to market in order to gain long-term profitable share. We have never been as well positioned to execute on our core, expand into growth opportunities, and to capture the future. Now, let me take a moment to highlight our business unit performance and how we're setting ourselves up for years to come. In personal systems, we're executing and innovating like never before. Revenue has grown year over year by 12%, and operating profit by 8% year to date. And we are seeing growth across all reported product categories, driven by the most innovative product portfolio in our history. We rose to become the number one PC manufacturer worldwide and have consistently outgrown the market for 14 consecutive quarters, including our most recent calendar quarter two, where we outgrew the entire PC market by nine points. When we last met at SAM one year ago, one out of every five PCs globally had an HP brand on it. Now we're well on our way to nearly one out of every four. While this is tremendous progress, there is still room to expand and profitable share to take. But remember, share is not our goal. It's rather an outcome. And I've been very consistent on that point. The teams are doing an outstanding job of stitching the seams to deliver growth. Ron, together with the regional presidents and the supply chain teams, are in lockstep identifying pockets of growth, targeting our investments, and remaining disciplined over a multi-year period. This focus has kept us ahead of our competition and ultimately turned strategic intent into positive return on investment. A great example is in the premium segment, and specifically with the Omen gaming platform. Two years ago, we barely had a gaming presence, but we saw opportunity and invested. Gaming is one of the fastest growing market segments and boasts high margin opportunities as gamers pay a premium for, for, for performance as well as style. Today, ROM will provide additional color on our strategy and personal systems, as well as how we're positioning ourselves to capture the future. And in printing, the pundits said printing was destined to decline, but we're proving them wrong. Some of you said we couldn't do it, but we are. We have grown revenue for the past two consecutive quarters, including growth in both hardware and supplies. Supplies revenue stabilised during our third fiscal quarter, a quarter earlier than we said it would. The team did an excellent job managing the transitions in our supply sales model and our focus on the four box model drivers is really working for us. Stabilising our core business sets us up for growth opportunities and the print business has a strong track record of making targeted investments and generating positive returns. Take, for instance, the success of the Sprocket. You all have one. It's our new pocket-sized printer 
that's making print relevant for an entirely new generation of customers. And our sustained performance in graphics, where we've achieved 16 consecutive quarters of growth in constant currency. Similarly, our aggressive push to disrupt the A3 copier market is supported by targeted investments and a very disciplined focus. We see a large $55 billion opportunity where we can leverage existing capabilities and know-how, including IP, distribution channels, and service-based business models to accelerate our entry into a natural, underpenetrated adjacency. We are accelerating this opportunity with the announced acquisition of Samsung's printing business, and we look forward to welcoming them to our printing family once the deal is closed. You'll hear more from Enrique on the exciting initiatives the print team are planning that will generate sustainable long-term returns in home, office, and graphics printing. Okay, it's time to have a little bit of a stretch. It's about to get really interesting because we're not only advancing our innovation and security, we're also shifting business from contractual, from transactional to contractual offerings. We're leveraging decades of HP printing technology to offer new products and enter new categories. And in the first of three SAM exclusive announcements, we're entering into a new and exciting, do I get a drum roll, anybody? New and exciting, wait for it. We're entering a new category of textiles within our graphics business. This is an incredible new application of our technology and Enrica will explain more about the new market in his section. Speaking of leveraging HP printing technology, one of the most exciting elements of our strategy is 3D printing. Momentum is building for the next industrial revolution as the $12 trillion manufacturing industry is digitally transformed. This isn't a one or two-year play. This is a multi-year journey that should be a growth engine for this company for decades to come. The disruption of manufacturing is a massive opportunity because little has changed since the assembly line transformed manufacturing more than a century ago. Our strategy is not just to be a platform player, no, no, not just to be a hardware provider. We want to work with our partners in developing an open materials ecosystem. Our business is built on top of HP's multi-jet fusion technology, which delivers 3D printing at breakthrough speed, quality, and cost, making digital manufacturing at scale a reality. And it's incredibly encouraging to be hitting key business metrics and key milestones. In only three short quarters, we've turned our 3D initiative into a business with global scale, repeat customer orders, an expanding partner and materials ecosystem, and yes, real revenue. While our revenue today is small relative to our roughly $50 billion of annual revenue, our progress would make any venture capitalist captivated with the future potential. You see, there's three important things that matter most. First, a significantly large and untapped market opportunity. Second, a highly differentiated value proposition that's grounded in unique IP and really complex science. And the third is a highly skilled team capable of delivering success while continuing to define the future. Well, we have all of those in spades and more. In the second of three SAM exclusives, are you ready? Another drum roll. You're not playing much with me here. Good. I'm glad. See, my team does that. Uh, when I get the rest of you, that'll be fantastic. But we're going to continue to expand this business. We're introducing a new, lower cost, more accessible 3D printing platform that prints in full color. Multi-Jet Fusion will be the one and only 3D printing technology in the industry that can make mechanically robust and fully functional full color parts. And the lower price point 
will open new market segments, making it easier for designers and creators to access the technology. Now, take a look at a couple of these parts. Beautiful full color parts, vibrant color parts, and you can just start to let your imagination run wild when you can add infinite color to part creation. I particularly like this part. This is created as a bracket and often for visualization for a designer, we're able to change the color of high stress areas and so that the designer can zoom in on the high stress areas and see where they might modify the design. But interesting shapes like this in full color are only able to be produced with 3D printing. And this brings me to our third 